Hey, everyone, it's MacLord. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I tried to rush that. Uh, today I'm playing Yang Zing. I saw a deck list on Dwellings Meta that was playing Yang Zing. Well, this exact list, except for uh, Gizmek Kaku, which I don't have because I haven't bought the new selection box. Um, the gist of it is kind of simple. A fire raccoon, sorry, Dracoon Lamp that uh, dumps your Yang Zings to the graveyard. You have Monster Reborn and Oasis of Dragon Souls to revive them. And then you make big uh, lethal pushes with Agni Mazud and your Synchro Toolbox. Um, this deck is a deck that exists. Yang Zings have been around for, I think, like, they came out the same time as Necros and uh, Metal Foes. Could be wrong about that. But they never really did anything. Yazi is still a selection box exclusive card. It's clearly the best Yang Zing card and you are probably seen it if you've played against Black Rose, this sort of deck. And uh, yeah, let's let's see how this goes. Oh, draw sense of his... Um... Ah, oh, shoot. Is that because uh, we have Mass Chameleon as a target for it? I should have said that before I launched the game. Alright, what's Bandit Keep gonna play? It's 100% gonna be Magical Musketeers. And Yazi is really good against Magical Musketeers. If that is what it is. Uh, okay. Uh, two Yang Zing cards. So I can send this. Okay, I need to... Because what my turn one... I need to make a turn one Yazi. So I need to send... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to do math. So, so if I get... No, that's a... Shoot. If I get a 4 and a 2. 4 and a 1. That's 6, 7, yeah. Yeah, that works. I can go into Metaphysaurus and then... Yeah, that works. I don't think that was the best on one option. So why did I do it? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, I'm assuming like this is the activate balance. I wasn't even paying attention. And unfortunately, he's gonna lose the inheritance effect of Swanee. It's fine. It's, it's, it's still a big Yazi. Ah, Yazi pass. That's my turn one. Good luck with that. Okay. Spell book of secrets. Knowledge. If it's Dark Magician, I'm in a really good position because they can target my guy. What the heck? Oh, okay. I get it. What is happening? <laughs> it's the um, is the AI deck? You know, I, it just seems like a big auto duel deck. Imitation? Oh no. Oh! Okay! Oh! Um. Yeah, there was nothing I could have done about that. What is this card in Duel Links? This is not a real card. This is not even a real card! Okay, so this time, there's no way I'm getting FTK, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh god. Okay, this hand is... The good thing is, Dracoon Lamp is a really funny card. And also Yang's Intrigation procs when... Any monster I control is destroyed, not just young things, so... You know. Rhoda... Such... Okay, it's Gucci. Um... Hmm... Gucci pass. Uh, that's exactly what I needed, a second Dracoon lamp. 
Do I go for the Dracoon Lamp? Do I set Big C hoping to... Uh, I don't think... I don't know if this works with Expendable Die, but I'm gonna do this anyway. Because the last thing that happens is... My guy doesn't get... Well, it's not the destruction of the... My guy, right? I don't know. We'll see. Haha, <sighs> <laughs> predictable! Wait, that's all. Did you not really open anything else you could normal <laughs> do? I'm gonna activate the uh, creation. Who cares? Can special from the extracts at Synchro Monsters. So, he blocks me, I'm dead. Um. I can go for a Tatsunoko into Yazi. It's probably good enough, right? Like, he's not gonna do anything against this. Right? Hopefully. Tatsunoko! Okay. Yazi time. Uh, oh, I could use Swanee or I could use Dracoon Lab. But this makes for a big uh, guy, so I'm gonna go for Yazi, uh, Swanee. Yeah. I'm not gonna use the effect, I'm just gonna punch. I think the set is expendable die. It has to be, right? Now what could it be? Actually, I, th I don't think it could, it could have chained it to the Tatsunoko. But it was like a slight delay when I summoned the... Um, I forgot what it's called. The level 1 tuner. I don't know. Dark Hole. Dark Hole. Well. I get to summon a bunch of guys. <laughs> Uh, none of them are really good. This in defense. Uh, what could I go for? I can go for any worm. I might try to go for Bactia. So... I need to consider my options. I think I need to summon a... 4 and a... No, a 5. Yeah, a 5 and a 1. Oh, okay. <laughs> My map wasn't correct anyway. <laughs> okay. No, please don't be another FTK. This time he's the real extra deck, so that's not gonna be it. And my end is Pee Pee Poo Poo. This is one of these set Swanee Pass hands. I have double veil though. So we're probably good. Come on! Don't be the exact same dick, please! No! 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 Oh god. This is gonna be the exact same deck, isn't it? It is! No! Oh, why? There's no shot he does it again. Oh my god, he's gonna do it again. Well. This is a cool and interactive deck. That surely is really fun to play against. No, please don't open the FTK, dude. Even if he doesn't, I really, I don't really have anything that I can do. Like, uh, I don't think there's anything in my extra deck. I deal with it. Oh god. Oh god. 
No, why can't you work with effect damage, please? Yes! Oh, God! <sighs> I can't believe that I played against the exact same FTK twice. Like, surely there's no way, right? Also, I, I probably would not have be got an FTK if I was playing any disruption. But I'm not. <laughs> so that's on me, actually. Please don't play the FTK. Okay, it's Blue Angel. We're good. Uh, uh, that's another one of these hands. If the, the... I'm just gonna set Swanee. This is not a really good deck when your best turn on options is set a guy pass. Being Shokan. Oh, he's gonna ever slump me for my life saving. Jesus. I'm gonna get ever slumped. This is 100% happening. He drew me a veil though. I don't know if that was the uh, intention. Fox Glove Witch. I thought he was gonna go for the uh, double. Uh, Nightshade, Double Bloom play. It's really funny that my end is <laughs> garbage. Like, it's so bad. <sighs> it happens, I reckon. But I wish it wouldn't happen to you. Bella Madonna. Okay. Um... Oh, that's risky. That's also kind of risky. Drew the Corobane. Why? Wait, what? You've just made your own guy activated. Um, you've just lost your guy's immunity. Why'd you do this? Set one. Set two. Battle. Kill Swanee. Uh, so he attacked with Korobane, which means he can pop whatever I spread out, which means should probably get uh, the um, Chi Wen interpretation. Only use one effect per turn, he only wants that turn. That's cool. Uh, special summon one designated monster. Which one is it gonna be though? I probably should go for. Jeez, I don't know. I really don't know. The cards in my hand are no help to me at all. This is my only tuner remaining, so this is probably the best pick. My best draw, I feel, is going to be. Uh, what's it called? Not this. That's bad. Uh, I can't activate the effect because I only have one. So I can go for Metaphysaurus. That does nothing. Uh, it's still better than any other thing I could do. No, don't he can't take. Dude, what? Why would you do that? <laughs> that was the most pointless enemy control I've ever seen. Um, yeah, Yumi. I'm just gonna negate the effect of Bella Madonna. Who, who cares? Um, I can't kill the Bella Madonna. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. <laughs> or to, to, to be more appropriate, I can kill the Bella Madonna, but I lose my only chance of winning this game. 
I'm starting to think that maybe this deck isn't really good. Um, like in theory, you get really huge uh, swing turns with, uh, you know, Agnimizu getting rid of your, like destroying Dracoon Lamp, Battling Box of Veil, maybe a Swan Eov on field, so it floats into a Yang Zing, but in practice, like, the deck's bad. The deck is really bad. At least I get to Veil. Oh, I get to Veil, and now I'm going to be able to trigger my Masked Chameleon skill and go for Baixa. That's really cool. That's probably the play, right? Uh, oh, I can summon this. Uh, that's probably better. And now we go for Baixa. Baxia, sorry. Uh, I can only use worms. I can't use veils. Um, I'm gonna destroy. It doesn't destroy. It returns to deck. It's probably more. I don't know. That's probably more important. Fuck this. You can just target one level card you control, one level four lower monster in a graveyard. Why can't I? Why can't I activate this? Destroy that card on the field. I don't understand why I can't activate this to pop my own veil. Can someone explain to me in the in the comments why I can't use this effect? Won't per turn. So I get one card you control and one level 4 monster in your graveyard. Destroy that card on the field. Oh yeah, there'll be some. Okay. It's a really good card. <laughs> I think I win. Um, yeah, why can't I use the Baxia? Why can't I use the Baxia full effect? I don't get it. Oh, I sure wonder what card this is. Alright, that was really weird. Alright, so, um, I don't know what to think about this list. Like, I didn't really get to use Acne Mazurt, which is clearly, like, the best playmaker the deck has access to. Um, the Mask Chameleon stuff was cool. I'm not too convinced about these two as synchro options. I think maybe I should be playing a better 6 and a better 5. I don't know. I'm really torn on this. Like, on paper, it works, right? But then you have some really good ends, and then you have double Dracoon Lamb, double Veil. So, I don't know. Thank you for, for watching this video. Someone please explain to me why the Baxia couldn't destroy my guy. That's something I misread? Misunderstood? What does it say? Oh, okay. That's the Mask Chameleon. Okay, I found out. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Take care, everyone. And, uh, bye-bye.